so the present topic is about the pharmacology of the drugs which are used in the treatment of dyslipidemia or hyperlipidemia now before going into the pharmacology of the drugs which are used for the treatment of dyslipidemia let me give you a basic idea of what are the lipids and as well as the lipoproteins all right so if you take the lipids lipids mainly they constitutes two substances one is the cholesterol and the other substance is the triglyceride the other substance is triglycerides so these two they are the lipids now for the transportation of the lipids from various parts of the body to the liver or for the transportation of the lipids from the liver to the various parts of the body we require what is called as lipoproteins lipoproteins they are totally of five types so what is the role of these lipoproteins what does these lipoproteins do these lipoproteins they carry the lipids from the liver to the various parts of the body or they carry these lipids from the various parts of the body to the liver now we will see what are those various lipoproteins so those various lipoproteins they include one is chylomicrons the other substance include the high density lipoprotein low density lipoprotein the intermediate density lipoprotein and as well as the very low density lipoprotein so these are all the various types of lipoproteins so these lipoproteins they carry the lipids from the liver to the various parts of the body or from the various parts of the body to the liver now so first let me discuss about the triglycerides so this particular triglycerides they enter into the body either through the diet or these triglycerides they are synthesized even within the body from the liver so this particular triglycerides they enter into the body either from the diet right in the body the triglycerides it is either from the diet what we take or it is synthesized in the liver or it is synthesized in the liver now now you see this particular triglycerides which are being taken through the diet the triglycerides which are being taken through the diet they are transported by the lipoproteins called as chylomicrons all right so the triglycerides which are being taken through the diet are being transported in our body through lipoproteins called chylomicrons whereas the triglycerides which are being endogenously synthesized in the liver they are being transported by vldl all right they are being transported by vldl so what does this very low density lipoprotein what it will do is it will take the triglycerides which is being synthesized in the liver then it is transported to the blood right it is transported to the blood now now you take this particular chylomicrons chylomicrons it will transport both the cholesterol and as well as the triglycerides whereas within this particular chylomicrons the triglyceride content it is more compared to that of the cholesterol content all right this chylomicrons they are the lipoproteins they transport the triglycerides and as well as the cholesterol but in the chylomicrons the triglyceride content it is more compared to that of cholesterol right triglyceride content is more compared to that of the cholesterol content 
so if we take the triglyceride content all right so the triglyceride content of the chylomicrons it is more compared to that of the cholesterol right now so now you take in the wall of the blood vessel right if we take in the wall of the blood vessel triglycerides which are contained in the chylomicrons they are metabolized by lipoprotein lipase all right so now this particular triglycerides which are present within the chylomicrons they are metabolized by an enzyme called as lipoprotein lipase so in the presence of this enzyme lipoprotein lipase the triglycerides they are being converted into free fatty acids right they are being converted into free fatty acids and this free fatty acids whichever are being formed these are being utilized by various tissues right these are being utilized by various tissues like fat and muscle like fat and muscle all right so i'll just repeat whatever i have said the triglycerides which have been taken through the diet are being transported by the chylomicrons whereas the endogenous triglycerides which are being synthesized in the liver they are being transported by the lipoprotein called vldl that is very low density lipoprotein right so if you take the chylomicrons which will transport the triglycerides which are being taken within the diet but within the chylomicrons the triglyceride content is more compared to that of the cholesterol content this particular triglycerides they are metabolized by the enzyme called lipoprotein lipase into free fatty acids so this free fatty acids whichever are being formed they are being utilized by various tissues like fat and as well as the muscle all right so that is what is your lipoprotein lipase doing to your triglycerides now we have one more enzyme called as the hepatic lipase now the hepatic lipase what it will do is this hepatic lipase it is present on the surface of the liver that will metabolize the remaining triglycerides and chylomicron remnants and they are taken up by the liver all right so the hepatic lipase what it will do is where is this present first this is present on the surface of the liver right this is present on the surface of the liver so the hepatic lipase which is present on the surface of the liver it metabolizes the remaining triglycerides right it metabolizes the remaining triglycerides and as well as the chylomicron remnants and this particular triglycerides whichever are being metabolized they are being taken up by the liver all right these are being taken up by the liver now so by this entire process what is happening either in the presence of enzyme lipoprotein lipase or in the presence of enzyme hepatic lipase our triglycerides right our triglycerides whichever are being taken through the diet are being metabolized all right now the next point is whenever the triglyceride production increases in the liver right so until now what we have discussed was the triglycerides which was taken through the diet whereas when triglyceride production right when triglyceride production increases in the liver now what did we discuss the triglycerides whichever are being synthesized in the liver they are being transported by the vldl lipoprotein so when triglyceride production increases in the liver what will happen is 
simultaneously or parallelly VLDL synthesis is also increased in the liver. So VLDL synthesis also increases in the liver and this VLDL whichever are being synthesized in the liver that will enter into the circulation right that will enter into the blood all right so the lipoprotein lipase it will metabolize the triglycerides and hepatic lipase will metabolize the remaining triglycerides and this particular triglycerides are being transported by chylomicrons which are present within the diet whereas the triglycerides which are being synthesized in the liver they are being transported by the VLDL which is also being synthesized within the liver all right now now you take this particular VLDL that is very low density lipoprotein this VLDL it contains more of the triglycerides than the cholesterol esters so what did we discuss when we were discussing chylomicrons there also we have discussed that in the chylomicrons the triglyceride content was more compared to that of the cholesterol similarly even the VLDL which is being synthesized in the liver it also contain triglycerides more compared to that of the cholesterol esters all right now this particular triglycerides are being metabolized by lipoprotein lipase and so now what is your VLDL doing now VLDL it will take the triglycerides which is being synthesized in the liver that triglyceride whichever is being synthesized in the liver it is given to the blood so what is your VLDL doing now VLDL it is a lipoprotein which is synthesized in the liver it will take the triglycerides which are synthesized in the liver and it will give to the blood that is into the circulation all right now now this particular triglycerides right this particular triglycerides which will enter into the blood from the liver these are being metabolized by lipoprotein lipase right these are being metabolized by lipoprotein lipase into free fatty acids into free fatty acids so going back again the triglycerides which were being transported by chylomicrons whereas the triglycerides whichever are being transported by your VLDL ultimately they get metabolized by lipoprotein lipase where they are converted into free fatty acids and these free fatty acids are being utilized by various tissues like fat and as well as the muscle now the triglycerides is being converted into free fatty acids now what is the fate of VLDL what is the fate of VLDL VLDL it is converted into IDL right VLDL it is converted into IDL this is called as intermediate density lipid it is called as intermediate density lipid the point what you should remember in the intermediate density lipid is in the intermediate density lipid the triglyceride content will be equal to that of the cholesterol content all right so in the intermediate density lipid the triglyceride content will be equal to that of the cholesterol content see what did we discuss in VLDL in VLDL which transports the lipids the triglyceride content was more compared to that of the cholesterol esters whereas in intermediate density lipid this intermediate density lipid contains the triglycerides and as well as cholesterol esters in equal quantities now we will see the fate of this particular intermediate density lipid which has been formed from the very low density lipid 